Um, he, he wanted to give me the bucket first because he knew how much this meant to me and how much, um, you know, all the things I've been through with this university and haven't had the bucket in four years. So he knew what it would mean, mean to me for him to hand it to me. And I knew that I wanted him to hand it to me. And it was just a really special moment. And I love that man. So, what, uh, did it mean? Huh? what did it mean? It meant everything. Um, I, I can't, uh, I just, it's the greatest feeling ever. Um, playing for this university and playing for the, uh, the fans and the alumni and everything just has meant so much to me. And it's, um, you know, I sit back and I look at, you know, my career and, and uh, I, it's, oh man, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just so happy and I'm so blessed to be in this position and with this great university and it's awesome. At what Glad point you did back, you, huh? What? Glad you came back. Yes, best decision I ever made. At what point did Kurt's confidence rub off on you and you think this was, something like this was possible in terms of the season was possible? I think early on um, in spring ball and things like that, I knew that we had a special team, but I think it wasn't until we went to the Rose Bowl and took care of business at UCLA, I said, okay, we have a really, really special team. We're gonna do really, really special things. And you know, um, you see it on the field. So I'm just really happy. Did you feel style points mattered in this one? Was it like unsaid that you guys know you not just win, but make a statement to the playoff committee? Uh, I don't think that was our biggest concern. I think it was just, you know, beating our rival and doing it handily. And I, I think we did that. Was it important? Sure. Does it mean though? You, you understand the rivalry. Yeah. You got all these new guys here. Yeah. How quickly did they understand and how important it was to make a statement? Yeah, I, I, I made it my goal. Um, and my job to educate all the, you know, the transfers and things like that on the rivalry. Um, you know, some guys still didn't really understand it because they didn't, they haven't lost Purdue and they haven't been through everything. So uh, I think the guys did a great job, um, you know, handling all that and, and obviously putting it out on the field. How does it feel for the offense and the O-line to get back on track and yeah. play like you guys were playing earlier in the year? Right? Yeah, it feels great. And I think we really needed that. Uh, yeah. We came in this week of practice with a chip on our shoulder and we knew that we had to prove something. And um, I'm just, you know, Curtis got sacked in the, in the first half, so that can't happen. But other than that, I think we ran the ball well and protected him in the second half. When you said you educated the guys, what, was that this week mostly, or like throughout the time? Or what, oh, it's what been did you do? it's been since I came back. Um, uh, I don't know how to word this to not. Greg was telling me um, <laughs> <laughs> that we yeah we don't like them, and uh, I really made that known. And especially this week, um, you know, paycheck and Mark Deal and all those guys made it known. But um, you know, there were some choice words said definitely to describe and kind of get them behind the rivalry, but I think we did that. How would you describe it if Greg, Greg didn't tell you? I don't know if I can say it. those things <laughs> on camera. Nearly 400,000 people came through the gates of Memorial Stadium this year. What's that mean to you? It's the most in program history. Yeah, it means everything, uh, especially, you know, um, I always say uh, being through this program with the ups and downs and finally breaking through and seeing the stands filled and seeing the towels waving and you know it's it's an incredible feeling to me and i'm just so thankful that i came back and i just love this place so so much mike how do you explain the joy of 66 to it is like the most happy i've i've been in a really long time um just you know we haven't had the bucket in three years four years so Doing it in that fashion and getting it back, and the moment with Coach Deal, and I was, I was, I'm over the moon right now. Coach Signetti kind of challenged you guys this week as seniors. I mean, yeah. You said to put an explanation point that you must do it. I mean, it doesn't seem like <coughs> you would need to have that necessarily, but how much did you take that to heart and, and kind of take his challenge to heart? A little bit? Yeah, well, I knew after last season, you know, thinking that you know, the Purdue game was my last game and. I didn't want that feeling again as a senior uh, losing to Purdue. So, um, you know, all the seniors took it, you know, as a chip on our shoulder. And, um, yeah, it's just, I was really grateful to be out there with my family pregame for senior night and things like that. So it's just really cool. A lot of unknown in these next coming weeks, whether or not you get to play here again. So mm -hmm. if this is your last time playing Memorial Stadium, how is that going out with that? Oh, going out with a bang, man. It's incredible. Uh, if that's how, 
you know, my last game at Memorial Stadium is, um, I, you, know, you can't be happier with that. Will you spend the next week worrying about the playoffs? Or, I mean, do you feel like you guys have done enough to say, you know, not have to second guess or worry about that? I mean, obviously, I think, and everyone on the in the, in the program thinks we've done enough. Uh, so, I mean, putting it in the hands of the committee, I think we what we've proven this season is uh, that we're a playoff team, and I think the committee will see that as well. Mike, a lot of, a lot of seniors, a lot of guys, I mean, a lot of guys who came in from outside, some mm -hmm. that were here, just your thoughts on their job to kind of come in and simulate and buy in and create a culture that you guys that you guys rode this entire season. Yeah, it's incredible. And it's credit to them and all the, you know, as you get older and as you mature in college, um, you kind of know what it takes to win. Um, and so them coming from different programs, they know what it takes to win. Um, and it's just about buying into the cult, the new culture and, you know, the traditions of, of the new school. So I think they all did a great job of that. We've kind of talked about your emotions, but out there before the game, for senior day, what, what were you thinking? Just kind of with your family? And yeah. Um, well, funny enough, I did it last year because I didn't yeah. think I was coming back. But um, this year meant a lot more to me because uh, obviously the stands were more full than last year. So um, I don't know, it's just – it's an incredible thing to be out be out there with my family and because they've they've been through all the ups and downs with me and they know how much I've struggled you know in my career and now I'm you know reaping the benefits so I'm just happy they could they could uh, do that with me out there before the game. Two years ago Purdue clinched their division here. Sure yeah. you remember that. So what's it the feeling like to reverse? You didn't you didn't clinch you really yeah. clinched a playoff spot I would think. But what's that what's that kind of the contrast is feeling from there? Yeah, it's crazy how much a difference it's two years can make. And, you know, when we were at the low of the lows and now we're at the high of the highs, it's it's an incredible feeling. And I'm just happy I stuck through it, everything. And and now you see the results. I don't want to look too far ahead. Obviously, a lot to unfold. But what do you think that this team has done for the future of Indiana football? I think it's done so much. And um, I'm so happy I could be a part of it. But just this, this culture that Indiana football is now and, and um, you know, obviously – difference from years past but um, I'm just so happy for the fans and the alumni and people that are you know coming back for games and traveling for games and it's all I've ever wanted and I'm just so happy for the future of Indiana football. About a year ago today Last one that Josh. Coach Signetti got hired mm -hmm. 360 I think six days we had leap day this year later did you ever think that it would be an 11-1 season? Oh man life? someone asked me that this past week and I'm like I, I, I really don't know. Uh, obviously, me like being with like the last three seasons and and those teams, you know, this is something no one, not a lot of people can say they're a part of eleven and one regular season. So uh, I don't know. It's just I'm I'm, I'm really happy.